Hey guys, it's Bang for about PC Gaming here. Just going to bring you a quick comparison between Nvidia's latest drivers, 387.92 versus 385.69. Now, the reason these drivers have some significance is because the 387.92 drivers can bring up to a 25% increase in performance for Forza Motorsport 7. Now, often it does come under certain circumstances for that claim to be valid. So I'm going to run a test with my own copy of Forza Motorsport 7 and my own NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti to see if I can prove that there is an, an actual tangible performance increase. So I'm just going to quickly go through my hardware then I'll go through the in-game settings and I'll let you guys watch the comparison. So using the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti, uh, this is the gaming next version from MSI, but I have put an AIO cooler on it. So I'm running a, an overclock. I'm using an Intel i7-5960X running at 4.3 gigahertz on all cores. I'm using uh, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 running at 2,666 megahertz on an MSI X99A gaming 7 motherboard. So those are all the specs out of the way. I'm just going to introduce you to the gaming settings and I'll get straight into the comparison. Moving on to the in-game settings now. I used uh, dynamic render quality of Ultra. Resolution says native window resolution, but all that means is it will use your monitor's native resolution. Dynamic optimization is set to custom. It means that I can select my own settings rather than it fluctuate as it chooses. So performance target is just four frames per second cap. I've left that unlocked. Resolution scale set to 100%, which means native. And I drop it filtering at 16 times and everything else is maxed out. Um, MSAA quality is at 8 times, which is also the maximum as well. So these are the maximum in-game settings you can use. So for the test, I will be doing um, a race at Le Mans. So one lap of Le Mans, I'll quickly show you the race setup. I'm using uh, 23 drivers on track and I'll be driving in the day environment. This has a dynamic environment, so sometimes it will be overcasted, sometimes it will be clear skies, but it does not impact performance as long as it's not nighttime or raining, so that will be fine for the test. So let's see if there's a difference when it comes to um, the 25% increase that Nvidia boasted. There you have it guys, you can clearly see there's been a great increase in performance. With the 387.92 drivers you have an average of 181 frames per second and a minimum of 136, while the previous drivers 385.69 had an average of 149 
and a minimum of 116 so that's an increase of 32 frames per second on average so that's pretty decent and uh, GTX and ATTI are pretty much realizing its potential in this game now anyway that's pretty much it for me guys hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching So